All right, big news day for the Diamondbacks. Not only are they playing the Atlanta Braves tonight, as we just talked about, Wolf, but uh, as we've been detailing, the TV situation has changed. I could sit here and read you stories off ArizonaSports.com, or we could just talk to the Diamondbacks president and CEO, Derek Hall. And let's just do that. That's probably a better way, to, better way yeah. to do it. Yeah, he's joining us right now on the Arizona Sports Line. Derek, thanks for the time, man. What's going on? How are you guys? Well, just another day at the ballpark here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> totally boring. Hey, you know what, Wolf? Wolf, this was, this was by design. I, I figured the way we've played the last 10 to 18 games, we don't want them to be able to find us on TV until we get straight again. Derek, Derek, I don't. What happened, Derek? Uh, you know. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll be okay. We'll be okay, Wolf. We're, uh, you know what? We, um, all our bats went cold at the same time. You know, that can happen. And uh, we just a little flat coming out of the All-Star break. But we'll, we'll turn it around. This team is too talented and too much fun. No doubt. Uh, all right, so, Derek, as far as, as the TV deal, um, I guess let's just start here. Did, were you expecting this? Did you kind of sense this is maybe where things were going? I think so, Luke. You know, we were part of the, the bankruptcy early on, one of uh, a handful of teams that were, that were named in bankruptcy. And we thought when we had a big payment coming up on July 1 that uh, they were going to reject us at that time. And, and we had had some negotiations with them, them being Diamond, the parent company of, of Bally Sports Arizona. And um, it looked like we were going to make some progress. So they uh, had a stipulation in, in the judge's hand and asked for, um, for it to be postponed, that judgment and ruling on rejection. And so we gave it until the 18th. And, and I give them credit. I mean, they tried. We tried. They paid us per game during that time to make sure that our games could could still be televised. The most important part here was to make sure that there was no interruption in television so that our fans could always get the games. And now, because the ruling came down today, this morning, just now actually, um, it doesn't give us a lot of time to to notify and, and educate the fans on where the stations will change. But those fans that have always had access to the games, be it through cable or be it through satellite, they're still going to get the games. It just will be on a different channel. And the Padres went through that uh, a month or two back, and now we're the second team to go through it. So I, I really encourage all of our fans to go to dbacks.com, uh, or they can go to dbacks.com slash, slash watch and figure out what those new uh, stations are. So what is next for you guys going forward? I would imagine it, this has got to be a bit of turmoil here. Is it not, D? Um, yes and no. I mean, well, if I look at it as, as opportunity, I mean, first off, we're going to have more households that we can reach. Um, you know, we're going to go from 930,000 that, that were subscribers to the ability to have nearly 5 million now with the increase in households and outside of our state market. In addition to that, you know, you lift a, a blackout that fans always had when it comes to streaming. They now have the ability to stream our games. They're going to have a seven-day trial. Any fans that just want to want to try it out on MLB.tv. And then if they want to become uh, full-time subscribers, they'll get every game where they weren't able to before through uh, the streaming agency. So I think that helps, too. And then we're going to be able to, to see how it goes this year now that we're with MLB, who, by the way, have done a phenomenal job in producing the games on, uh, for the Padres. I think they look as good, if not better, than they ever have. Uh, and, and it feels like it, talking to their fans, talking to their PR staff, talking to their executives, they didn't miss a beat. So I, I hope we feel the same way. You're going to see the same broadcasters, same announcers. It's going to have a similar look and feel, but I think even better. Again, I think it's going to be better, uh, enhance it. And then, and then we'll get to look at what to do in the future. You know, do we do a similar um, setup where it's going to be cable and, and satellite, or is it more over the air like we used to be in the past? Will it be a hybrid of sorts? I think we can now look at all the options, which, again, provides more opportunity than just being stuck to uh, a long-term agreement with with Fox Sports Arizona, and then as it became Valley Arizona, but but I really think both of them for you know having been great partners, and and I I, I can't fault uh, any of the folks here from Valley. They've been really good, and these people you know they have jobs and they have families, and and it has an impact on them. That's what hurts the most. So D, it sounds like you've got just as much control over the broadcast going forward. Correct. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. So, Wolf, it's not going to look any different. Again, you know, for example, if you're a direct TV viewer, you always went to 686. Now you're going to go to 686-3. Um, whatever you had looked at before on Cox, now it's, it's Cox Channel 7. So that shouldn't change. Nothing should change. And, and you're going to see the same personalities. You're going to get all the games you had before. Um, it just now creates like we said, a little more opportunity. We can get more creative with, with trying to reach more fans and more viewers than we were able to in the past. 
We're talking to Derek Hall. Derek, I, I just want to kind of have repeat a couple of the things you just said because I think that's been big for viewers. This has been a really fun season. As a viewer, you don't want it to be disrupted, but you just said same personalities. You just may have to switch a channel once. But for the most part, from the viewing experience, it may get better, but it's not like it's going away. No, you got it, Luke. And, and MLB, their production and MLB Media is committed to make it even better. They're bringing in new cameras, new looks. Um, again, what I've seen, because I've watched closely the Padres, knowing that, uh, first off, I scoreboard watch and TV watch every game, and I drive myself nuts. But secondly, <laughs> I wanted to watch those games because I thought there was a possibility we could do the same and move to MLB. And I've been really impressed with the angles, with the looks, with the, the cleanliness, the freshness. Um, we're going to see a lot of that as well. So I, I, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity for us. And you mentioned it's been a fun, exciting season, and it's a good product to watch. i got to tell you, you know, the judge, um, watching the ruling this morning and the hearing, he was great. I mean, he even said, this has been a fun team. It's been a fun season. They have a Rookie of the Year candidate, and their fans deserve to watch these games. It was really cool to hear him say that. So immediately, D, I always think of the players, of course, in the clubhouse and how this might impact them. It sounds like there's going to be absolutely no impact on them whatsoever, correct? So it'll be no impact other than their families are going to have to go find where to watch these right. games today, too. So it's just like any other fan. <laughs> right. But no impact on them at, at all. And, and, it, and again, we'll I think it's a, this could be a very good thing. Um, MLB, is uh, they're on it, and I just wish we had a few more days' notice to let fans know. would have been great even to have the All-Star break, to have uh, had people know where to look, which new station numbers. But we have ample time because with our game today, 420 our time, again, fans can go to dbacks.com, find out where it's at, or go to dbacks.com slash, slash watch. Talking to Derek Hall. Derek, I, I just want to throw this question at you. I think you've kind of already addressed it, but this is the one I've been getting the most from people. So if you're streaming it, and maybe you were already streaming the games, if they had been getting blacked out, if you're going on, on the MLB package, the, people can watch it that way now, right? It's good to go. Exactly, yeah. So the blackout is lifted. And, and we've also heard from people in San Diego, they were thrilled that they now have the opportunity to be uh, subscribers that way through MLB.tv and get their games locally. Now they'll be able to. Perfect. D, does this have any carryover whatsoever to next season? Yeah, I mean, and now we get to figure out what we want to do, Wolf. I, I think it's a, it's a clean slate. And so, again, we'll, we'll talk to MLB. We'll talk to other possible partners. We'll talk to over-the-air partners. We've had a lot of interest, as you can imagine, going through this. Um, from outsiders asking if we'd be willing to engage. And it's a lot of over-the-air opportunities for us. Um, now we can have those conversations. We could possibly have them incorporated with uh, MLB as well. So we're talking to MLB about what it looks like next year. If we're just a, a, a specific and um, you know a partner of theirs only exclusively or if we can bring in other partners to, to help distribution. But what's important to me is to make sure we can have more viewership than ever before, cover more territory than ever before, and you know, not only statewide, but outside, because we have so many fans when you look at New Mexico and Utah and Nevada, and they've said before they don't have the access that they wish they could. Now they're going to be able to. Derek, you're always, uh, you're always a pretty positive guy. You, you certainly are coming off uh, like you are excited about the doors this may open up for you guys big picture anyway. Is there anything else uh, fans should know before they get ready to watch this game tonight? I think you nailed it all, and uh, Luke, I, you know, I appreciate you guys uh, and your support this year. And, and as I said, I hope we can turn this thing around. I believe we can. We got to get healthy. Um, you know, I, I, I agree with the judge. It's been a fun product, and I know fans have enjoyed watching this team, especially live as our, our attendance has grown. But I, I believe our viewership has grown quite a bit too. I think it was up 30 percent last I checked, which tells you people want to watch these games. So now we need to make sure they know where to go, and we will do that. And I appreciate you guys addressing it. Basically, the the courtroom had just gone dark and we went right to you so thanks for for being there for us as always perfect sounds good thank you Derek. thanks dude you got it guys thank you okay, okay ma'am that's Derek hall president and ceo of your arizona diamondbacks joining us right there on the arizona sports line and again if you are streaming it uh you can go ahead and stream it on mlb.com you can do that for free even if you weren't streaming it before but the blackouts have been lifted as they work this out and it doesn't sound like they're they're getting pulled off any service you may have, whether it's DirecTV, Cox, any of those. So you just may have to switch stations a little bit. Wolf, what's your station on DirecTV now? It's 686-3. See, before it was 686. See about that. So you it's move. just 686. Now I've got the dash. Where is the dash? <laughs>